Okay, so we have completed the two steps. So why not jump on the third step that is the view set. Okay, so how to like do that? The view set is done in the views.py. Okay, so now I don't again know what to do in here. So I'm just going in the API guide. I'm searching for the view sets and I got the view set. Okay, now um, here's some of the imports that we will require. Okay, so we will require these two imports. So I'm just copying that. I'm pasting over here. So I have my two view sets like I have imported. Now I will just search for the model view set and there we are. We have the syntax ready. So we have to declare a class. Let's just name it as class uh, like movies view set or something. Yeah, and we have to import view set dot model view set. I think I spelled it right. Okay, yeah. Okay. Then we require something as serializer class is equal to user serializer. Now user serializer is the class that they have created. What we can use is that uh serializer class is equal to we have created our own movie serializer if you remember we created this now how to import this if you want to import this the thing is simple from serializers yes from serializer import movie serializer okay so there we go we have our movie serializer ready and now we have to just write the query set so query set is equal to now user is the name of their model now we also have our model so let's just import that from model import a uh, movie and you require movie dot objects dot all okay so there you go yeah it's done now what does this function do movie dot objects dot all okay so movie dot objects dot all basically fetches you every data that was in the database movie okay so that's why we use this function so this function our view set is also done our serializer is also done our admin is done urls is not done okay so now we will focus on the router okay now router is also in the urls so this will be our last step uh just a minute okay this is too many we will include the router part also in here so bear with me if this video gets at least long okay so we are in the urls now we require something of routers so what we are going is we are going in the routers routers where are you okay here it is just import this okay there you go and what it says is that uh routers dot they have used simple routers we will use default routers because uh just a minute routers are something which will you know like encapsulate all the crude operations for you you don't need to specify the get post put delete everything individually okay this thing works that way okay so uh, in this they have used the view set as we just mentioned in our graph like our line as well that routers will use the view set view set will use the serializer serializer will use the model okay so we needed to import the our our view set as well so from views import movie view set and here what they say is that routers dot register they have something let's name it as movie and we can use movie view set once this is done okay we need to just remove this and write router dot urls because that's thing they have written as well router dot urls and as soon as you are done with this and if everything goes well which is not going okay 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 this is just one step that we did wrong sorry for those who messed it up it was from models <laughs> i really missed that part okay there is one more thing in the views dot py uh just a minute sorry for those i did not check while i was writing okay there you go so everything is working fine so if we just reload our local server we can see that the, we have something of you know the gui just changed now it's mentioned that you can use this url so what we will be doing is that i'll just copying this url i don't know yeah i'll, I'll be just copying this and i'll be just uh go, opening the postman if you don't have postman you can feel free to just you know okay so this is a url that i am just pasting it if i'm using the get function in here and if I am, let's say, sending my get request, let's see if you are getting some data or not. And there you go. 
uh, you have some data and this is the movie that we just inserted while I was showing you the model part I don't know how much long the video is okay it's, we still have some time so let's just post some data uh, okay so let's just name the movie as title uh, okay so for those who do not know what I have used in here okay so I, I've gone to the body I've gone to form data and then I've wrote this so it's title avatar the spelling of description okay so it's description class uh, it was you know just a classic science fiction and how many stars I want to give so first of all I need to require the genre so okay so let's just name it genre and I am naming it as sci-fi okay I think these things are done so if we just post our data so it's created and now if we again get this thing you can see that we have got the two datas in our hand we have just used the API for calling and retrieving let's just delete it and see whether this thing is working or not so to de delete them what you need to do is that just pass on the movie ID so this is the two right so we are passing the movie to and we are sending a delete request so the movie that was created with an id2 that's avatar is now being deleted so if we go in the get request and again see this thing you can see that the movie is gone okay so we have the re we have the uh, you know like the uh, delete we have create everything it's done using just a simple method of creating a view set serializer and routers so this is like a complete backend of django okay i know that uh, this thing was pretty uh, not as complex as we thought but when we are trying to create the front end it would be slightly messy so yeah so this is the back end part overall